Good morning, friends. Hello! My name is Nick Stanny. I'm one of the children's librarians here at the River Forest Public Library, and I'm so excited that you were here to join me for story time today. But before we get into our stories, I do need to talk to the grown-ups for a second. So story timers, you don't gotta listen to this part, but grown-ups, I would love your eyes and ears and attention for a moment. First thing, I know, I say this every time, you're sick of hearing it, but I really mean it when I say this, you are doing awesome. This is a really difficult time for everybody and you're doing it while also taking care of at least one tiny human, if not more. So please give yourself that credit because you're awesome and I'm really proud of you. If you're able, I'd love if you could take some time for yourself today. That might be something as simple or silly as making the time to go to the bathroom by yourself. But when we have toddlers, we know how this game works. Um, or that might be making your favorite cup of coffee. I know I've got mine right here, I get it. It might be just a minute behind a closed door to take a big deep breath. Whatever it is, please give yourself that time today. You absolutely deserve it. I am so proud of you and you are doing a fantastic job. So give yourself that credit because you deserve it. Um, if you're able, I'd love if you could sit down and join us for story time. Uh, whether we're in person or virtual, your little ones are gonna get a whole lot more out of story time if you're participating as well. So I'd love if you could sit down, sing along, engage in the stories. And I do try to make it fun for the grownups too. However, the nice thing about a virtual story time is that if this is that you time, if this is the only you time you're gonna get for the rest of the day, the rest of the week, whatever, that is also totally okay. And I got this for the next half hour. So if you can, please sit down. I'd love to have you join and you are always welcome. And if you can't, that's okay too. I totally understand. Um, that's the nice thing about a virtual story time. So our theme today, we're gonna get into our stories now. Our theme today is numbers. We're gonna do numbers today. So before anything else, I wanna practice counting from one to 10. Can we practice together? I'm going to sign my numbers too. So my numbers might look different than your numbers and that's okay. Here we go. We're going to practice counting all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, friends. Now I have a question though. Can we count? backwards. Can we do it from 10 to 1? I bet we can. Let's try it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job, my friends. That was awesome. And now you're ready for a number story time. Are you ready? We're going to start with our hello song like we always do. So we'll sing hello, we'll clap our hands, and we'll wiggle our elbows. Then we will go back to the beginning and do our hello one more time. And then we'll do our ABCs. So here we go. Get ready to sing, and we'll sing on one, two, three. Hello, everybody. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, hello, everybody. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed, my darling. Clap your hands now, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed. Clap your hands now, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, my darling. Elbows. Wiggle your elbows now. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Wiggle your elbows now. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, my darling. And back to that beginning. Hello, everybody. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, hello, everybody. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed, my darling. Ooh, just in time for a big ol' yawn. That's okay. All right, up next is our A, B, C's. If you've been coming to story time for a while, you know that I love to sing and sign together. So I am going to sign 
our alphabet and I'm gonna sing it as well. So if you know the ASL alphabet, go ahead and sign with me. If not, your voice is just perfect. Let's sing and sign together on one, two, three. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Yay! Good job, friends. Now, we all know that story time, story time is all about what? Story time is all about practice. So we are going to practice our ABCs one more time. Are you ready? On one, two, three. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Yay! Good job, friends. All right, our first book today for our number story time is called Grandma's Tiny House. And our grandma is gonna host a big dinner party, but her house is kind of small. So we're gonna count all the people who come and all the food they bring and see if they all even fit in the house. So here we go, Grandma's Tiny House. Tiny in size at the edge of Brown Street sits Grandma's old house where we all go to meet. And look, there's Grandma. Hi, Grandma. Grandma's house stays small as the family grows. Will everyone fit inside this time? Who knows? One Grandma sits in her big easy chair while two turkeys send scrumptious smells through the air. <laughs> yum, yum. Three neighbors knock on the brown wooden door with four pots of hot greens and ham hocks galore. Five family friends strut straight up the stairs with six dozen biscuits and jam made of pears. Super yummy. Seven cool uncles stroll up in a line with eight jugs of lemonade, iced cold and fine. That's a lot of lemonade. Nine chatting aunties all head for the den and set down the cheesecakes that add up to 10. 10 cheesecakes, that's so many. Eleven nephews join, slapping high fives and fumbling twelve sweet potato pies. <gasps> Thirteen thrilled nieces burst on the scene with fourteen honeydew, juicy and green. Yum, yum. And who's that running? Last but not least, fifteen hungry grandkids stampede to the feast. Ah, that's when the walls bulge. There's no more space. How will we all eat in this too tiny place? Uh-oh, it's very squishy in there. I know. We're gonna tell grandma. We've stuffed this old house, but the yard is long and wide. Why don't we move our big dinner outside? It's a great idea. So out skip the neighbors, nephews and nieces while uncles and aunts lug dinnerware pieces. Friends grab the tables, grandkids grab the chairs. The rest bring the food down grandma's back stairs. This looks so fun. <gasps> Perfect in size at the edge of Brown Street sits grandma's backyard where we all 
go to eat. The end. That was Grandma's tiny house. And we counted all the way to 15. How cool is that? All right, up next, we're gonna do our affirmations. So if you've been coming to story time for a while, you know what affirmations are, but you might be new, so let me explain it. Affirmations is a big fancy word and a way of saying, we're gonna say some stuff that helps us feel really good about ourselves inside. And you can use these to turn a bad day around. You can use these to calm down if maybe you're having some big feelings. You can even use them at the start of your day to have your day start awesome. So whatever it might be, however you use these, we're gonna do them call and response style or repeat after me. So I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna do an action with it, and then you will do that action and say it again. And we'll go through this a couple times. Are you ready? Here we go. I am great. I am great. I am strong. I am strong. I am smart. I am smart. I am loved. I am loved. I am kind. I am kind. I am brave. I am brave. I am me. I am me. And you are you. And you are awesome. I love you. Thank you for being you. Let's go ahead and do that again. Are you ready? Here we go. I am great. I am great. I am strong. I am strong. I am smart. I am smart. I am loved. I am loved. I am kind. I am kind. I am brave. I am brave. I am me. I am me. And you? You are you. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. You are you and you are awesome. Thank you for being you. I love you. Great job, friends. All right, we're gonna do another book. This is another cool counting story. This is called Counting Kindness, 10 Ways to Welcome Refugee Children. And a refugee is someone who has to leave their home because it got very scary and not safe. And so we're gonna read some ways that we can help refugees feel welcome. Here we go, Counting Kindness. When a place gets so scary that we have to leave home, every kindness counts. One, one boat helps us on our way. Two, two hands lifting us to safety. Now we're on the boat. Three, three meals filling us up. Mm mm. Food is so important. Four, four beds keeping us safe and warm. Five, five wishes on stars giving us hope and strength. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, I dropped my book. Six, six books sharing new stories and new words. Because sometimes if we're a refugee, we don't speak the language where we ended up. So we have to learn new words too. Seven, seven days celebrating our first week in a new land. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's been a whole week. Eight, eight gifts surprising us with things that we like and with things we need, like sweaters and books and even stuff we like, like soccer balls and teddy bears. Nine, nine hearts welcoming us to our brand new school. Yay, new friends! Ten, ten friends making us happy. And let's count all those friends. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plus our two refugee friends is 11 and 12. 12 people, 10 new friends. 
How many more ways are there to help? Here we go, we're gonna count to 10 one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Ten ways to be kind and welcome people from other places. The end. Good job, friends. I'm gonna take a quick sip of my coffee. And now we're gonna do another song about love and loving ourselves and loving everybody else. We're gonna sing my I Love You song. And I love doing this song because I do it in a bunch of different languages. So it works really well after a kindness book about refugees because they might know different languages you might know different languages, we all might know different languages, so it's cool to be able to say I love you in a language that somebody else knows, because that can make them feel very comforted and feel like they're safe with you. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna sing it to you first in English so you can hear how it goes, and then we'll do it in Spanish, we'll do it in Ojibwe, and we'll do it in Algonquin. And Ojibwe and Algonquin are two native languages that are spoken by the tribes whose land the library's on. So we're gonna do it first in English and then we'll do it in some other languages. Are you ready? Here we go. I love you, I love you. All day long I'm gonna sing my little song. I love you, I love you. Baby, I love you. Good job, friends. Now, where I sang the word baby, you can put the name of anybody you know. So you could sing, Mommy, I love you. Or let's say you're hanging out with a nanny. You could say, Nanny, I love you. Or if you're a grown up, you could sing your little one's name because our little ones love to hear their names in song. It's how we start to develop language. So let's try it. I'm gonna do it one more time in English and I'm gonna do it with my dog, Zoe's name. I love Zoe so much. So here we go. I love you. I love you. All day long I'm gonna sing my little song. I love you. I love you. Zoe, I love you. Yay! Awesome. All right, now we're gonna replace those I love yous with I love you in different languages. So in Spanish, we're gonna do Te quiero. Are you ready? Te quiero. Te quiero. Te quiero. All day long I'm gonna sing my little song. Te quiero. Te quiero. Zoe, te quiero. Good job, friends. Now let's try, ooh, let's do it in Ojibwe. So in Ojibwe, we say Zagi y Diwen. Zagi y diwen. Za gi y di win. Here we go. Zagi y di win. Zagi y di win. All day long I'm gonna sing my little song. Zagi y di win. Zagi y di win. Zoe, zagi y di win. Yay! Awesome. Let's do it in Algonquin. Let me just double check. Ku wo mau das. Ku wo mau das. So it is ku wo mau das. Ku wo mau das. Here we go. Ku wo mau das. Ku wo mau das. All day long I'm gonna sing my little song. Ku wo mau das. Ku wo mau das. Zoe. Awesome job. Let's do it two more times. I'm gonna do it once where I'm gonna sing it with my voice, but I'm gonna sign the whole thing. And then we're gonna do it one more time in Spanish. You ready? Here we go. I love you, I love you. All day long I'm gonna sing my little song. I love you, I love you. Baby, I love you. Yeah! And one more time, let's do that in Spanish. Are you ready? Te quiero, 
Te quiero. All day long I'm gonna sing my little song. Te quiero. Te quiero. Zoe, te quiero. Good job, friends. That was awesome. And since we sang that in Spanish last, I'm going to grab us a book called One is a Piñata. And this is a book of numbers that's in English and in Espanol. So let's practice our numbers in English and in Espanol. Here we go. One. Uno. Uno. One is a rainbow. Uno is a cake. One is a piñata that's ready to break. Two, dos, dos. Dos are maracas we shake to the beat. Dos are zapatos on my feet. Dos are the goalies, dos are the teams. Dos are sonrisas and cold ice creams. Yum, yum. Three, tres, three. Three are bu burbujas that slide and wiggle. Tres are pops and then the giggles. Giggle, giggle. Four, cuatro. Four are bollillos just waiting to dip in four cups of chocolate. But first, take a sip. Five are cometas that dip and fly. Five are the nubes that float through the sky. Five, cinco. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Five, cinco. Cinco beach palapas, cinco boats in the bay, cinco hammocks swinging on a lazy day. Six, seis. Six kinds of salsa to pour on rice. Seis rosy faces, ooh, from all the spice. Seis flavored aguas to quench our thirst. Try the horchata or piña first. Seven, siete. Seven are marigolds to lead the way. Siete cavaleras to put on display. Eight, ocho. Ocho are the frutas we eat on a stick with chili and lime juice. Come take your pick. Nine, nueve. Nine paraguas in puddles for splashing. Nine slick raincoats for those who love dashing. Let's count the paraguas. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve. Yay! Ten, diez. Ten glowing velas, diez banners bright. Ten faroles that guide us by candlelight. Diez are my friends who join the fiesta. Ten are the yawns. Before our siesta. Ooh. I could use a siesta. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, Yes, there are so many numbers we love to contar from uno to diez. Can you count that far? And yes, we can, because we have so many times today. And the end, if you want to know what the Spanish words were, if Spanish isn't a language you know, there is a glossary in the back. That was one is a piñata. Alrighty, we are going to do a little hand rhyme now called Five Big Lemons. So put your hand up. We're going to make five. Here we go. Five big lemons sitting in a bowl. One fell out and started to roll. It bumped off the table and hit my toe. Now how many lemons are left in the bowl? We had five. Now we have four. Four big lemons in a bowl. One fell out and started to roll. Roll, 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 roll. Where did it go? It hit my toe. Now how many lemons are left in the bowl? Three. One, two, three. Three big lemons in a bowl. One fell out and started to roll. Where did it go? It hit my toe. Now how many lemons are left in the bowl? Two. Two lemons in the bowl. One, two. 
two big lemons in a bowl. One fell out and started to roll. Where did it go? It hit my toe. Now how many lemons are left in the bowl? Just one, just one lemon left. One big lemon in a bowl. It fell out and started to roll. Where did it go? It hit my toe. Now how many lemons are left in the bowl? Zero, there's no more lemons, they're all gone. And that is our five big lemons. Good job, friends. All right, I have one more number book for us today. And this is called Stack the Cats. So we're gonna do a little bit of math and we're gonna do math with cats. So really important question, my friends. What noise does a cat make? Meow, that's right. Cat goes meow. So let's count with our cat. One cat, one cat sleeps. Two cats play. So fun, we're playing with string. Three cats, well three cats stack. One, two, three. Four cats teeter, ah, five cats totter. Oh no. Six cats prefer two stacks of three cats. So if we have one, two, three, and one, two, three, then it, that means that in total we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six cats in two stacks of three. Seven cats, seven cats nap. Eight cats try, but Oh, whoa, whoa. Eight cats tumble. Whoa. Nine cats agree to three, three, and three. So we have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And those are three stacks of three. So three plus three plus three is one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Nine cats. Ten cats are just too many. So we're gonna count them and then we'll count backwards. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten cats. So one cat sleeps. Good night, cat. Two cats climb up and away. Goodbye. Two cats hide and two cats seek. And three cats, three cats stack. One, two, three. How will you stack the cats? The end. Good job, friends. Thanks for stacking those cats with me. All right, I've got one last song and it's our goodbye friends song. So let's sing all together to wrap up our story time. Are you ready? Here we go on one, two, three. Goodbye friends, goodbye friends, goodbye friends. It's time to say goodbye. And again, let's do that one more time. Goodbye friends, goodbye friends, goodbye friends, it's time to say goodbye. All right, goodbye my friends, I'll see you later, hasta luego, goodbye.